What is up guys, it's MBS the Mblox here and today this video is going to be about a tutorial. Many of you have been asking me how have you been playing Infinite Fight on your computer, how do you actually fly, how are you able to maneuver the plane, and I figured I would fi show you guys the loop around that I have came up with. So we're going to keep this video pretty short and simple, just direct to the point. So what you guys are going to want to do is you want to go on your browser on your computer and you guys want to download BlueStacks, which is an Android emulator. Basically makes your computer think that it's running on Android and you guys can download mobile apps on that. But you don't want to go immediately to here. You want to go to, to download all versions and you want to go down and then you want to download this one, the Pi 64 bit. That's the one you want to download. I already have it open. So you guys, once you guys download that and you log into Google and, and all that, you like let it set up itself. And then once you get it open it's, uh, and it finishes download, you guys are going to launch it. And then you're going to see this. So this is one of the first few steps. So what you want to do is you want to open it. And then in the corner, you want to make sure it says P64 because any other version won't work for the app version so and then you want to go to play store and then I already have the game but I'm just going to be showing you guys and then you, you're going to want to go into infinite flight and then you want to want to download the the simulator so let that download and then next you want to go into google text and then you're going to want to download speech services by Google, which is right here. And then you're going to want to download the actual Google app. And then you want to download those three. And then once you guys finish all of those, you're going to want to go into your system apps and then your settings. And then you're going to want to go down to your accessibility. And then you're going to want to go down into text to speed output and then in preferred engine you're gonna go you're gonna press this one speed services by Google and then you are set and then that's all you have to do this is just for the ATC voices uh, if you have the pro subscription if you don't then you don't need to worry about all that but then we open up infinite flight once it downloaded and then you logged in if you have an account and then we're gonna let that open we'll go into full screen here and then we are going to let that load. And then as you guys can see, you are logged in, you are on the online servers. And then what you want to want to go is you want to go into settings. And then you're going to want to scroll down into online if you're logged in. And you want to make sure that your voices are selected. That means that Google has worked. And then after that, you're going to want to go down to controls. Now, this is where it gets interesting. This is the last few steps. So what you want to do is you're going to want to go into here on the side and press game controls. And then when you do that, you're going to select control editor. And then you're going to go down and then you're going to click and drag tilt. And then you're going to put, you can put it anywhere on the screen. I just put it here on the bottom left corner. And then this is very important on where where it says up, down, left, right. You're going to want to press, and then you're going to want to press W. I'm assuming you guys want to use WASD, but you could use the arrow keys or any other combination on the keyboard you want to use. But I use WASD, so W is going to be up, and then A is going to be left, right is going to be D, and down is going to be S. And then you want to go here in the corner and press settings. You want to move that up and then you guys want to put max tilt angle to a hundred and then you are guys are good to go and then you press save and then you should oh wait I forgot I forgot you need to press the X and then save changes and then you guys should see it move side to side as you guys can see there's my pitch and then you guys can see my roll and then that is pretty much it you guys can kind of tweak with the system here like 
because uh, it's not exactly the most smoothest it's pretty instant so it's going to be kind of choppy but I mean f at least you're able to play on your computer and then for example I'll just spawn in in Peru and I'll show you guys how it works and I've uh, done almost all of my flights with this system and not on my phone just because uh, I just need my phone to do other things so I just let my computer be running for like 20 hours for this long flight and then as you guys can see here my ailerons do work and they work pretty well and you can kind of see my black ones moving up and down so that's pretty much how it works guys you just do that and then you can kind of see it's not the most smoothest but at least it will get you flying and then autopilot can do the rest you are able to land uh, you are able to actually butter some landings like this it's a bit confusing but after you do three or four flights you'll get used to it uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial if you guys need anything else comment down below uh, and let me know uh, I am happy to help you guys uh, until next time have a great day bye guys